Good morning, I'm Trang Doe with your morning digital news brief for Tuesday, April 9th. Philadelphia police are investigating three overnight shootings, one of them deadly. A 26-year-old man was shot to death along the 4200 block of Takawana Street in Frankfurt. Police will check surveillance cameras in the neighborhood for clues that will help them track down the gunman. Two other men were wounded in two separate shootings in North Philadelphia. Upper Darby police have made an arrest in an attempted child luring case. They shared these images of the vehicle the suspect was driving on Long Lane on Friday when he allegedly tried to lure two teenage girls and then exposed himself. Police say they'll release more details on that later today. And construction on a popular bridge down the shore will not be completed in time for the start of beach season. Eyewitness News has learned that the Townsend Inlet Bridge will be closed until at least late summer. It connects Sea Isle City and Avalon. The bridge has been shut down for repairs since September. Construction was supposed to be finished by Memorial Day weekend, but several issues have slowed down the project. Now let's check eyewitness weather. Here's meteorologist Katie Fallinger. Good I would morning, say Katie. Better safe than sorry on that one, right? Well, we definitely have some warm air in place, and yesterday actually felt like it was beach season. Today, it's certainly still warmer than average, not as warm as yesterday, but you're still going to eke out a high of 73 degrees today. We were off to such a warm start. That's going to be an easy feat. But later on today, a new cold front is already crossing. That'll bring in a very small line of showers and thunderstorms. Uh, they could be locally gusty storms, that said, and probably right around the PM rush for the city and then it all clears right back out again. So we're back into some cooler air, but still above average later on tonight. Tomorrow, though, it's a dose of reality. You're only flirting with or hitting the low 60s for two days straight, but at least in the sunshine and then another rebound for Friday and Saturday turning cool again by Sunday. So lots of ups and downs here. Trang. Thanks, Katie. Remember, you can always get Katie's most up to date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Trang Doe. Good morning.